from the Dogfish Head Brewery, Sam Calagione. It's been a long, strange, but wonderful trip. From the Boston Beer Company, Jim Cook. Welcome back to the Friday Beer Buzz, Jim. Well, it's nice to be back. Uh, We're normally from Aberdeenshire in Scotland. From Brew Dog, we have James Watt and Martin Dickey. Welcome to the show, guys. The biggest mission to date is just to make other people passionate about your state's best beers as we are. And now, the three-time winner of the Pennsylvania Association of Broadcasters Excellence in Broadcasting Award. The recipient of two Pennsylvania Associated Press Broadcasters Association Awards for Excellence. Promoting and advancing the craft and microbrew culture in Northeast PA. This is another edition of The Friday Beer Buzz! It took a little, <laughs> a little something there. The Friday Beer Buzz, powered by Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar in Exeter. Sabatini's, the area's greatest selection of rare craft and imported beers. Growlers and Crowlers and 37 rotating drafts at Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar, Wyoming Avenue in Exeter. We've got Bill from My Beer Buzz on the line. Hi, Bill. Hey, happy Friday. Happy yeah. Friday. And Lindo Sabatini from Sabatini's in the studio, as always. Hi, Lindo. Hello. Hello. How's things going there? The business with everything, restrictions gone on Monday. So. We're, we're cooking. You're cooking? Good. Yeah. I think you're going to be cooking this weekend with that 90-degree weather. You're going to probably be hop in there. It'll be good patio weather. Can you take the heaters and put them away yet? <laughs> I'm not you taking them down. They, we're, we're, we won't turn them off, but they're there. Okay, all right. <laughs> I, I, have, I have a feeling people will be thirsty this weekend with the heat, so it's always a good thing when you're in the bar business. We'll, we will give them beer. <laughs> they and actually, will ask. I wanna, We're going to get to beer news. I, I'm excited about today's beer because it's, uh, uh, you texted me, and Bill, you emailed me. I'm very excited about this. Perfect hot weather beer? We'll find out. All right. All right. Bill? Yeah, this is a new style for you too, Jason. I don't think we've done a, a Gosa on the show yet, so we'll we will get to that. Uh, we do have a little bit of beer news. First right. up, coming out of Chicago from Goose Island, uh, we have some new beers coming out. One is a really interesting combination. It's called Old Fine Rum Barrel Stout, and it is a, a stout aged in rum barrels that were used to to hold rum for two years. Uh, that one comes in 500 ml bottles, and I think um, I think that'll be an interesting flavor. I don't mm. know if you're familiar with the flavor of rum. Oh yes, so rum and beer. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they play together very nicely. Sometimes it's just weird. And I don't know a stout and a rum. Um, we'll, we'll see. I'm excited to try that one. They also have something new called the Chicago Hazy series, and that's a series of 16 ounce cans. And as you may have guessed, they're hazy beers. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one will be Hazy Dog. The second one will be, will be called Hazy Sunday, and that's spelled like the ice cream sundae. Uh, and then another one called Stub River uh, mm. that I have no idea where they got the name from. But, <laughs> it's, a uh, it's a long story and sad, too, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was picturing it was a bad, a bad concert experience that they missed the wrong <laughs> sides and, the, oh. and they just get, in, get into the concert or whatever. Um, also... Um, those series, I think I said it already, 16-ounce cans. I'm not sure if they will leave the Chicago area or not, but uh, we'll, we'll certainly watch for those. Coming from the West Coast, we have Firestone Walker, one of my favorite breweries, introducing another new, this is a 12-ounce can, and it's called Cinnamon Dolce Nitro Stout. Yeah. And I think the key word in there, I mean, cans for Firestone Walker is, is always kind of key. But the key word in there is nitro. Uh, this will be a nitrogen or partially nitrogen-charged beer uh, that has cinnamon and vanilla in it. And it's a stout. I think that all plays very nicely, 6% ABG. That one I think we will see in our area, uh, and I'm excited to try it. We didn't get to this last week, but this was at the end tail end of our news last week. Brew Dog, who we love, Martin Dickie and James Watt had him on the show before. Uh, one of our most entertaining and most dump button press guests <laughs> that we yes. had. They are doing a collaboration with Iron Maiden, the band, mm-hmm. and it will be called Hellcat IPL. And uh, some people are familiar, some people are not. IPL is an India Pale Lager. It's sort of an IPA, only it uses lager yeast, as you can imagine. It's a little bit different. We've done them on the show before. We will get our hands on this one. But even more exciting, and, and I, I missed the boat by being there a little bit too early, 
they are adding a rooftop bar in Las Vegas. And it will be 30,000 square feet, so it's huge. It will be carbon negative. So, uh, you know, Rudolph concerned about the environment. Las Vegas, if you've ever been, <laughs> Las Vegas City of Lights, it's yeah. just it, it, at 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning, 2 in the morning. It does not matter. It's daytime in Las Vegas. Right. Um, it's going to have an urban forest. Uh, it's going to be ready in 9 to 12 months, and they will do a special edition of their Elvis juice. Again, if you've been to Vegas, Elvis is everywhere. So Elvis juice special edition for that brewery. And one last little tidbit coming from the West Coast also, the brewery uh, in Placentia, California. We've had their beers on the show many, many times. They are celebrating their anniversaries. And if you're familiar with the brewery, they have beers that come out from the brewery, and they are celebrating their 13th anniversary. They have beers that come out from Brewery Tarot, which is their barrel and floater aged beer uh, uh, conglomerate, whatever you want to call them. Um, they are celebrating six years, and Offshoot Beer uh, is celebrating four years, and that's their hot forward can variety. Uh, Offshoot will do something called four, the number four, Hazy Double IPA. Brewery Tarot will be doing something called Annuel, A-N-N-U-E-L, uh, that is a, a blended beer. And the exciting one is the brewery themselves will be doing their Dentel. That's D-E-N-T-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And it's a Solera-aged beer. And Solera aging means that they take different vintages of the same beer and they blend it into a final blend. And with Dentel, they're using 13 different vintages of the beer to create their 13th anniversary beer. So yeah. I'm excited to get my hands on all three of those, and I think we will see those at Sabatini eventually. That'd be nice. Oh, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> you think so too. I'm very excited to hear about this week's beer or taste this beer. I have not tasted it yet because uh, Linda, you texted me. Yeah. And you told me what this was, and I was like, ooh. I, I've been talking about this beer so much at work, I wasn't sure if I talked about it on the radio or not because uh, because yeah, this, is, right. this has been such a uh, uh, an interesting talking point at the bar right now right. that I, I'm sitting there on the couch I'm thinking did we do it did we not do it did we do it so that, that's why I, I asked you guys but um, Bill why don't you tell us what this beer is so today's beer comes to us from the southern tip of Long Island from a brewery called Great South Bay Brewery uh, I believe we have done them on the show once maybe maybe uh, but not this beer uh, and the beer has a catchy name <laughs> the beer is called Water sucks, um, and it is a, yeah, it is a, a, a sour ale, um, and it's a sour ale that uses lemon, and more importantly uh, for, for the, you know, for the uninitiated, this is a gosa, and a, a gosa is a German beer, historical beer, that comes from the German city of Goselar, and it is a, traditionally a sour beer with salt. So that can be a weird combination when you say it to yourself, but uh, this one is actually, uh, you know, most people, it'll make sense. This one is actually inspired by Gatorade. So if you think about Gatorade, how it has that salty, but citrusy, fruity, uh, this one is doing that same thing, only it is a lemon sour ale or a lemon goza. It, it kind of so, tastes like lemon Gatorade in the, in, the, in the finish a little bit. I was yeah. going to say, like, it, it I don't really taste or pick up the saltiness in Gatorade. I'm sure it's there because the electrolytes. <laughs> what I don't understand about this, it tastes salty, but there's no burn. Yeah. You'd expect it to be like, oh, it's going to make my throat scratch. How do they do that? Yeah. And, and, the, and the can looks like a Gatorade can. So much I mean, so. Are they in court a lot? That's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of parody there. This is really good, though. I like this a lot. And the name, I mean. Yeah, you know. I, go ahead, Bill. I was just going to say, they, the, the, the blend of the sour, the acidic sour, and that bitter salt, um, the salt sort of replaces what we would just traditionally use to bitter a beer, and that's hops. Mm -hmm. So that combination can sort, of, uh, can sort of hide the salt in it. But go, go ahead, Linda. So the name of the beer, Water Sucks, if people didn't figure it out, that's from Tommy Boy. So they're, they're taking us, they kind of like 
without saying it, they're taking a little bit of a... Of a the water boy, though. Wait. Yeah. What did I say? Tommy boy? Tommy boy. No, water boy. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But, we were talking about Tommy yeah, boy before. Bobby, <laughs> and Bobby Boucher was the water boy. Bobby and Boucher. Bobby Boucher. <laughs> and uh, this, that's where it comes from. And then, I mean, it looks like Gatorade. Yes. And it's very um, refreshing, I would say. Uh, for the summertime, I didn't pour myself enough. I didn't. Yeah. I was a little nervous going into this one, but it's it's really nice. Yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah, we all we all like this it. Is a, this is a sneaky goza too. A traditional goza is three or four percent ABV, much much lower. This one is six point two percent ABV. Um, we should also mention. I don't know if it's on the label in there. Uh, that they write out their founding date of 2009 in maritime format on all the labels. And I don't have the label in front of me, so you guys can Yeah, they're looking, they're, they're perusing yeah. it, yes. I don't see Are it. there little flags, maritime flags that I that don't see it. 2009? No, it just says keep cold, which is good. Uh, <laughs> I so, don't see it. You know, I, I, don't, I don't see it. And I got to say, um, this is, I would put this one in a category like that. I always go back to that time you gave me that. Smoked beer, <laughs> yeah. Has like you yeah. got to try this one. You may not love it. I don't know if I love it, but I, I want to drink more of it. Right. Well, I don't. It's know so unique. It's I get so ten, unique. I get ten cents for this can in Michigan. <laughs> it's worth the trip. It's worth the gas, right? Yeah, this is really like this is the most unique thing I've ever tasted from beer next to the the smoke. Have you one. ever tasted a sour yet? I believe. I mean, I feel like I have. We've done we've done one or two, but this this not this style. And I, I'm telling I'm. I'm it's really, impressed. Yeah. it's really good. I think. Uh, do you get, that, do you get much exactly? demand for this? Um, this is this is a one-off. We 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 were able to get a, a fair amount in, so we do still have it. It's going to be coming up on draft pretty soon, and uh, you know, it, it's it's a pretty decent beer. This nice. is really really good. Yeah, so it's I getting thumbs like up from stuff. everybody here. Yeah, founded in 2009, Great South Bay Brewery is, is has come to our area quite a bit. Uh, they really got on the map because just a few years later, in 2013, they won a GABF medal. And then in 2015, they won two GABF gold medals, one for the program uh, at, where they brew with a home brewer, and one for the specialty beer category with a beer called Muscat Love. It was a great based beer. And, and that really put them on the map. Um, they were founded by their, their founder and brewmaster, Rick Sabota. Um, and he continues to play uh, a, a really prominent role in the brewing of the beers and the choosing of the beers. And I think this is a perfect summer beach. It certainly is. I could see this one by the pool with 90 degrees coming up. So just go into Sabatini's and say, water sucks. And they'll know what you want. Right, Linda? <laughs> That's it. I, just, I did a first year. I refilled my cup. Ooh, I never do that. Awesome. So water sucks is the name of the beer. Get to uh, Sabatini's. Uh, Bill, we'll talk to you next week. Okay. Have a great weekend. Enjoy it at the lake. Thank you. Have a good weekend. <laughs> you too. See ya. The Friday Beer Buzz, powered by Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar in Exeter. The area's greatest selection of rare craft and imported beers. Growlers and Crowlers in 37 rotating drafts at Sabatini's Pizza and Sabatini's Bottle Shop and Bar, Wyoming Avenue in Exeter. The Friday Beer Buzz, bringing good beers and good people together.